Good morning. Good morning. I would like to present Chelsea Schubert, who will be your mistress of ceremony. Chelsea was involved in changes, the transition team, tapestry, cheerleading, and the National Honor Society. She was in the lead in the Little Shop of Whores and was student director of this year's production of Leader of the Pack. Finally, she was proud to be the editor of the yearbook. She will be attending CCAC Allegheny in the fall, and her future plans are to study economics and environmental studies. Please join me in a warm welcome for Chelsea. Good morning. Please remain standing for the posting of the colors by Perry's JROTC, the signing of the national anthem by Perry's choral and musical students, and the Pledge of Allegiance led by Kaylin Herzer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you, Kaylin. Kaylin worked on the set of the Spring Musical for two years, was the vice president of the senior class and president of National Honor Society. Kaylin will be attending Point Park University, majoring in photography. Brittany Watkins would now like to welcome you here this morning. Brittany was a member of the cheerleading team, student council, SAD, changes, chorus, and tapestry. She played lead roles in the musical and was student director for this year's musical production. As president of the senior class, she also has the honor of passing the responsibility of leadership to the new senior class president, Dominic Daniels, through the exchanging of the key ceremony. Brittany will be attending Indiana University of Pennsylvania in the fall, majoring in musical education.
Good morning. Before we continue, we must recognize those in attendance who work tirelessly in our schools to ensure that we receive a quality education. We would like to begin by thanking our superintendent, Dr. Linda Lane, for her leadership in our district. We would especially like to thank Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Christiana Atua, for her personal support of our school throughout this, year, throughout this school year. In addition, we are grateful to Mr. Mark Brentley and Mr. Floor Cray for the work on the school board and within the Perry community. In addition to those mentioned, the senior class officers would like to thank Ms. Nina Sacco for her patience through this year with a transition. We would also like to give thanks to the assistant principals, Dr. Jeffrey Spadafore and Mr. Marco Corona, our counseling department, Ms. Sandra Atkins, Dr. Gwendolyn Dillard, Ms. Carol Horan, Ms. Fionn Tolliver, and Ms. Maureen Vigilante for their endless efforts to ensure that we will be ready for this day. I would also like to remember Ms. Janetta Mann at this time for all the love and help she gave us while she was with us. We are also more than grateful for the staff and faculty of Perry for their commitment to our education. Throughout the year, we have had a few teachers that were especially dedicated to helping us. We would like to thank the senior team of teachers, especially Ms. Brentley, Mr. Parks, and Ms. Travelina for always making time to help create a memorable senior year. Most importantly, we give thanks to the parents, grandparents, guardians, and mentors of the graduates for helping us get to the path of success. Without you, we would not be here today. Before I perform my final duty as president, I would like to thank my classmates. It has been my utmost pleasure being your president. This year we had our ups and downs, but the class spirit has made it worthwhile. I'd also like to thank you for your cooperation and patience this year, for I know everything has not gone as planned. To my fellow officers, Kaylin Herzer and Jerisa Johnson, as well as Bree Woodson and Ashley Branch, I'd like to thank you for all of your wonderful help. As we sit here today in our blue and white rows, we should be proud, because that means we completed our senior year. Our job as a student was to make sure we'd be sitting here today and walking across the stage to get our diplomas. Just because this year is over doesn't mean there isn't more to come. It is very hard to believe that this is the end to such an amazing journey. We laughed, fought, and cried, and worked through the hard times. Hopefully, we all have learned something and grown from our experiences. As we begin the next chapter of our lives, always, always remember you make the choice to be all you can be. My mother always says, most people fail because they trade what they want most for what they want at the moment. I challenge you to know what you want most. May the dreams of your past be the reality of your future. I say to you, class of 2013, go take on the world, but don't forget the memories and the friends you have made here. Good luck to each and every one of you, and congratulations, class of 2013. My last duty as senior class president is to pass the senior key, the class key of Pittsburgh Perry. A traditional academy is symbolic of the experiences and leadership handed down from the present senior officers to the new senior officers. The key represents the opening of ideas and traditions while maintaining those of the past. The requirement needed to possess this key is simple, a desire to lead. Representing the class of 2014 is the new senior class president, Dominic Daniels. Best wishes for next year and good luck. On behalf of the class officers of 2014, we accept this key. We look forward to serving the, our class in Perry Traditional Academy. We, the class officers, promise to be selfless and hardworking in our endeavors. Congratulations to the class of 2013 for their many achievements in academics, athletics, and arts. 2013 graduates, good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, Brittany and Dominic. At this time, the top two academic students in the class of 2013 will share their perspective on this moment in time. First, we will hear from salutatorian Samantha Spangler. Samantha participated in tapestry and acoustic night and worked on the set for Little Shop of Horrors. She was vice president of National Honor Society. In the fall, Samantha plans to attend Penn State University main campus majoring in cybersecurity.
Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, and special guests. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind, hang it on a shelf in good health and good time. This line is from our graduation song, Time of Your Life by Green Day, and it's perfect in describing where we are right now in our lives. We are leaving high school and going our own way, whether it's college, training school, the armed forces, or getting a job. But it's this moment and all of the memories that we made together that will remain with us. We will never forget our teachers nagging us to do our work or the security guards yelling at us to get out of the hallway. Then there's our parents who got on our case about, well, everything. At the time, it was nothing more than an annoyance, but now, as we reflect, we see why they pushed us. It was their way of preparing us for today and showing us that they care. In our success today, we thank you for what we can now call encouragement. As a class, we grew together, learned together, and overcame many obstacles. It wasn't always easy, but we made it through because we had each other. Some of us have known each other for 13 years, others we've met along the way, but the friendships we forged will not be forgotten. Class of 2013, this isn't the end, it's only just begun. I hope you had the time of your life. Thank you, Sam. Now, I would like to introduce the valedictorian for 2013, Emily Van Horn. <clears throat> Emily is a member of the National Honor Society musical and was the drum major for the band. She will be attending Slippery Rock University, majoring in computer science. Another turning point of fork stuck in the road, a most satisfactory description for what is more commonly known as high school graduation. Good morning, parents, friends, teachers, siblings, special guests, and welcome to what many believe to be the most important moment in our young lives. 13 years of report cards, essays, field trips, and memories has led us to this point, and you have all been there every step of the way. It is only fitting that you are also here today to join in our celebrations for what we've accomplished and excitement for what is to come. We are all about to embark on a journey of discovery and Perry is our port. As we look out into the crowd full of smiling faces, mentally taking inventory of the supplies we've accumulated throughout the years, we think back to the people and events that brought us here. The class of 2013 has been very fortunate to have had so many exceptional teachers and wonderful classmates. Whether it was letting us struggle through a problem when all we wanted was some help, or throwing us into leadership positions we never asked for. Our teachers have gone beyond teaching the subjects they are paid for, and our friends stuck by us when things got tough. We've had our laughs, our fights, our fun, our heartbreaks, and our share of embarrassing stories. We've made friendships, some of which may sadly end today, while others will last a lifetime. We will never forget our last four years, but today is not only about the past, it is also about the future, our future, whatever we will make of it. At the end of today, when our ships set sail and our flags wave proudly in the gusting wind, we will have entered a world where deadlines are no longer optional, where our parents are not our bottomless bank accounts, and where years will begin in January as they were meant to. A world where success is de determined by our own drive and our own ambitions. This world is very different from the one we have come to know, but we are prepared for it excited even. We will miss our time at Perry, and in times of darkness, we may wish nothing more than to return, but we know we cannot do that. We must keep moving forward, because just like Christopher Columbus's infamous trek to India, later to be discovered to be America, we may find our new world in unexpected places. We have endless opportunities ahead of us, and all we have to do is take them. So raise your colors proudly and take them. Congratulations, class of 2013. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Now we'll hear a celebratory vocal performance from the students of Perry Choral Music Program, directed by Mr. Gerald Watkins, accompanied by Mr. Rick Lane and Miss Betty Fayette. The students with soloist Chelsea Schubert will sing The Time of Your Life.
Thank you, Mr. Watkins and Perry Coro and musical students. Now I am honored to introduce our principal, Ms. Nina Sacco. Good morning, and welcome to the parents, families, and friends of the class of 2013. Pittsburgh Perry Traditional Academy is honored that Dr. Christiana Otua and board members Mark Brentley and Skip McRae are joining us to celebrate the beginning of our graduates' new journeys. Gildner Radner said, some poems don't rhyme, and some stories don't have a clear beginning, middle, and end. Life is about not knowing, having to change, taking the moment and making the best of it, without knowing what's going to happen next. Delicious ambiguity. This year has brought many changes to your lives as students. I have been impressed with your resiliency and your willingness to grow and change. You have had to learn an important lesson, maybe earlier than you wanted, that life goes in directions you may not expect, and often at the least convenient moments. Life charts our course, and yet we are always in control of our own hearts and our minds. How we choose to live each day, what opportunities we choose to take or leave behind, and our daily emotional well-being are all choices that we have to make. Even though time grabs you by the wrist and directs you where to go, we control what happens when we get there. Stop to take the photograph and the still frames in your mind of the experiences of these past 12 years. Categorize the happy and the sad. Keep the things that have made you who you are today. Go looking for those new defining experiences. Take the experiences of the past and have those experiences help you form your future. I hope you've had the time of your life. Today, as you look back on your school career and at every reflective moment in the future, I hope that you have the peace of knowing that you have made the most of the opportunities that life has offered and that you have found joy in each day. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce our special guests in attendance and thank them for taking the time to be with us on this special day. Dr. Christina Atua. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Mark Brentley. <laughs> Senior School Board Member. And Mr. Skip McCrea, School Board Member. I'll be very brief because you and I have got something much in common this year. Every year I give the same speech to everybody. I tell them, you know, this is a uh, time to move on, but I'm also moving on this year. So let's all remember this is the first day of the rest of our lives. Carpe diem. At this time, we would like to give special awards to graduating seniors who have been recognized by the administrators and faculty for their consistent dedication to excellence. Dr. Jeffrey Spadafor, Vice Principal, will now present the Growing Unselfish Awards. Good morning. It's my distinct honor to give the uh, Gerwig Award to two very well-deserving students this morning. Since 1931, the Pittsburgh Public Schools have annually presented unselfish awards to one male, one female in the 12th grade, who in the judgment of the faculty have rendered the most unselfish service to their school. The pens and cards, the awards have been made available through funds provided by the late Dr. George Gerwig, who has established the program in memory of his son. There were a number of nominations for this award, but two students stand out from the others. For their many activities and services to their class and school, this year's recipients are Dustin Law. Dustin would come up.
come on, that's perfect. Congratulations, Dustin. And our next award winner is Caitlin Herzer. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing the Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Christiana Atua, who will present the Superintendent Salute to Achievement Award. Good morning. It's just an honor to be here this morning. This year, each secondary school principal was requested by the superintendent to nominate one member of the graduating class for the Superintendent's Excellence for All Achievement Award. The superintendent recognizes that it is impossible to honor every student whose achievement is outstanding. But in recognizing one student's nominated, it is possible to salute the outstanding achievement of an individual student who represents the total achievement of the class. In the absence of the superintendent, it is my pleasure this morning to present the Superintendent's Excellence for All Achievement Award to the student who was nominated by the principal. The student is Emily Van Horn. Thank you, Dr. Atua. At this time, we will begin the diploma ceremony. Kristen Ann Argento. <laughs> I am pleased to acknowledge the 2013 class of Pittsburgh Perry High School and authorize Principal Nina Sacco to grant diplomas to the members of this class. Kristen Ann Argento. Felicia. Austin, Darius R. Barnes, Barkir Barsir Abed, I know she told me to slow down, Mark Bennett, Ashley Margaret Bernardi, Damon Bledsoe, Joshua Raymond Bloomer, Ashley M. Branch, Jordan Brooks Graham, Aaron Kayla Brown, Reginald O. Brown, Virginia L. B Lynn Bugs, William H. Bugs. We ready? Joshua Burgos, Giovanni Renee Calloway, Chanel. Carey, Quentin Carter, Aliyah Unique 
Chapman. Dayron Clark. Coco Cohen. Radeja L. Coleman. Brianne Marie Collins. Shade Marie Collins. Cassandra Core. Shaquem Cox. Amy Lynn Cross. Deshaun M. Cutler. Jamal Daly. John Daly. Krishana Natalia Nicole Davis. The girls on this side. Nikhil Diamond. Oh, I know. Cassandra Lee De Pippa. Anna Duncan, Curtis L. Edmonds, Jr., Melanie N. Edmonds, Leith A. Edwards, Lamont Elmore. Okay. Sarah Lavon Elmore. William Enns. Shakira Quaylen Evans. Tyler Nicole Lynn Fay. Tony Brianna Jean Ford. Latasha Nicole Fortson. Broughton Ganaway. Jasmine M. Garner. Joe L. Garner, Jr. Cameron Goggins. Octavia Lynn Grayson. Shamara N. Green. Tamia Griffin. Kiana Nicole Guy. Deidre Hall. Oh, he's the next girl. Dante Rock Hammond. Devlin Hopper. Eric Hart. Destiny Lynn Henderson.
Emil Henley. Jermaine L. Herring, Jr. David Hopes. Adam J. Howard. Talisha James. <laughs> Teresa Thomasina Johnson. <laughs> Kenan D. Johnson. Monet Dupree Johnson. Jarrett Johnstone. Kelsey Marie Jost. Matthew Keeler. Jaquela Lynn Kendrick. Shayana Key. Davon Kidd. Alchemy Kimbo. Who are you, Joseph? Joseph Gibson King. Brianna? Are you Brianna? Brianna Kirkland. Shanae Frida Kreps. Dustin Joseph Law. Victoria Lee. Yep, no, three more. Chaz Keone Lewis. Shanika D. Lining. Martea D. Little. DeAndre Livesey. Virgil McClendon. Davel McCoy. Treshawna McGinnis, Lita McGraw, Latasia McIntosh, I'm sorry, Shantir Naomi McIntosh, Khadidra S. McMiller, Kyra Miller, Maya Miller. Caitlin Mobley. Jason. Jason Monar. Are you Aisha? Latasha Mosley. <laughs> Kellyanne Muha. Are you Samuel? Samuel Murphy. Matthew Nicewanger. Raymond. Raymond A. Nelson. Are you Damien? Damien Lamont Palmer. Jeffrey Parker. Jasmine. Jasmine J. Pinkston. Carly Petrosky. Ryan. Ryan Michael Platt.
Gerard Porter, Stephanie Porterfu, Stefan Porterfu, excuse me, Shante Marie Preston, Tyree D. Price. Johnny Lee Reigns III, Linwood Randolph, El Alfonso M. Ratliff, Lloyd Reed, Mikea Sadith Edwina Reed, Morning Star Richards, Tyrone Lamar Ripley, Raymond Robinson IV, Sean Lee Rock, Cinere Saunders, Anthony Scott. Deja L. Scott. Sakila D. Scott. Sharif S. Scott. Samantha. Samantha Lynn Shalas. <laughs> Taiwan Sherelle. Thank you. Jasmine L. Short. Lachey Simmons. Lachey Simmons. Asia R. Sims. Brian Latroy Smith. Kyle. Kyle Smith. Are you Star? Star L. Somerville. Shayla Jade Stapinski. Tiana Lynn Starr. I know. One more. Keon Tate. <laughs> Messina Bay Tansmore. Raymond G. Taylor. Todd Taylor. Devon Terrell. Jacelyn Terry. Shadira M. Thomas. Shade Shanae Timbers. Okay, yeah. Makia Townsend. Ahmed Takumba Turner. Kelsey Lee Urbana. Brandon Lamar Washington. Rihanna Shante Washington. William D. Wells. Joel. Joel S. White. Jessica H. Whitman. Dominique. Dominique Wicks. Are you Bria? Bria Lucille Williams. Tiasia. Tiasia Janae Williams. Robert. Robert Ellen Willie Jr. Shiana. Cheyenne Alea Marie Woods. Who? Elizabeth McCoy. I'm sorry. 
Brianna Elizabeth Nicole Woodson. Marcus R. Young. Chelsea Schubert. <laughs> Brittany Watkins. <laughs> Kaylin Herzer. <laughs> Samantha Spangler. <laughs> Emily Van Horn. Thank you again. Please stand as Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools, Dr. Christiana Atua, will now give the declaration of graduation. Okay, we have to wait first. On behalf of the Pittsburgh Board of Education and on the authority granted to it by the Pennsylvania Department of Education, I hereby declare the 2013 class of Pittsburgh Perry High School to be graduated. Please join us in the round of applause. We would like to ask everyone to remain standing for the singing of Pittsburgh Perry Traditional Academy's alma mater, led by Chelsea Schubert and Brittany Watkins. Please sing along. The words are in the program. Our Perry High, dear alma mater thou, Keep watchful eye atop the summit's brow. Thou shalt to us our firm foundation be. God, counselor, friend, through all eternity. And as the years go swiftly gliding by, still thou shalt be our own dear Perry High. All hail to Perry, 